Hello, welcome to Zim Capture. I'm inventor Dan Zen. And Zim at zimjs.com is an open source framework for making interactive media on the HTML canvas using JavaScript and CreateJS. In this capture, we're going to take a look at some of the resources that are available for us in Zim at this time where, let's take a look at the site. We're on Zim 4th. So here's the site at zimjs.com and there's some links here. Now we're going to see links throughout the, the long site here. They're also available in a hamburger menu up at the top. So let's take a look at the frame. The frame gives us a set of templates that we can use to get started in Zim as well as information about those templates, when to use them, and advice, etc. These templates are also available in a Zim Zip. A Zim Zip right here is a resource. It's got a README and it provides you all those templates in a zip with a README. There's the docs. Let's just take an overview of what we've got here before we go into each one because the docs uh, will want to spend some time in there. So there's the docs. There's a learn module which has a, a series of resources geared towards learning how to code and use Zim including the bits. So here's a link to the bit site which is 64 examples of interactive media and that is available also through the learn section where it's categorized by um, by whether it's a beginner, mid, or advanced bit. Distill is a way that you can minify your code so you'll probably need that in the future but maybe not so much right at the beginning. If we scroll down, oh this area right here is actually a resource it's uh, showing you bits of code and features. So this is a link of a couple dozen, maybe a dozen features and components, for instance, and it shows you the code there. And you can use this little indicator along. It's sort of a cheat way without having to explode each one to see what those things are about. Okay. There's the link to the CDN. If you're an expert and just want to grab the Zim code and put it in the top of your JavaScript, you can just go ahead and do that. If I were you, I would use a template with the Zim frame. And that's available in the zip or up in the template or in the frame section. This is a link to GitHub. <coughs> Excuse me. Zim is stored on GitHub uh, and all its changes, maybe 80 updates there. So you can see what changes have gone into advancing Zim through Zim 1, 2, 3, and now 4, and uh, catch some of the minutia of Zim. Here's a link to various features, like one line drag and drop, multiple types of hit test, buttons, panes, you know, all the components, etc. The types of things that we can make with Zim, so the Zim application. Some examples of Zim. Now these were made before Zim 4, so Zim 4 introduced a new way to do things. And uh, these are older. We've been spending time finishing up the Zim bits and indeed working on Zim 4. But these are fine and they show Zim working. You can view the source of those. The intro is a Zim capture. We did a series of a, you know, a dozen or so Zim captures in Zim Try time. So we're redoing the captures to Zim 4. The Zim captures and, and try are still handy. And actually this is a, a Zim capture <coughs> that talks about going to Zim 4. So Zim 4 is the most or is the current version of Zim and so that that capture introduces the new things in Zim 4 and compares it to Zim try. If you're new to Zim, you may not really have to see that, but if uh, if you're interested, it is a good introduction to Zim 4th, but it still compares things to the, the old version of Zim. Old version still works. We just have new ways to do some things. The new section is a blog of um, updates whenever there's news. If we're launching a cool bit or launched a cool bit like on physics or something, or if um, you know, new versions come out, et cetera, et cetera, new features that's in the news. And we'll go in and take a look at that later. Support is a Facebook link, a Facebook group. You're welcome to come here. Oh, it'd be great if you did. Uh, join, join, the, join the group and ask questions, maybe even answer some questions to get involved. You're certainly welcome. Wonder is a way that we can collect stats in Zim. 
So here's a link to the old sites. Have a look through them. They're kind of cute and fun to see some of the differences. And then ZimSockets is a multi-user site somewhat connected to Zim. Here's a collection of the Zim bits. It's not all of them, but some of the fun ones. Well, they're all fun. Okay, and we'll see Zim bits on its own. And that's about it, I suppose. Oh, here's the CreateJS site. So uh, Zim is built on CreateJS. So pop on over there and check it out. There's all sorts of resources. Uh, CreateJS helps build on the canvas. So you should check those out. <clears throat> and now let's go into the docs. Okay, so the docs. The docs are broken down into modules. Uh, there's the wrap module, a bunch of little little functions that help us do things in orange. There's the code module, that's a bunch of larger functions that help us work with HTML or uh, coding in general, and also the second part of this with HTML, things like setting cookies and scrolling, that kind of stuff. There's the create module where Zim really gets going with CreateJS and so forth. Now we've got functions here to be able to drag and do hit tests and move and animate, scale, center, place, and that kind of stuff. So all sorts of functions. These functions now in Zim 4 are also available as methods on the Zim build shapes and components and so forth. So these are the, a bunch of classes so we can make objects that persist and that we see on stage. And then we can do things with them with, from all these uh, functions, which act like methods on these objects. Okay, And then there's the pages. That's uh, more advanced, things like for mobile, swiping between pages and layouts, uh, responsive design, parallax scroller, and that kind of stuff. Uh, the Zim frame. That's, we'll show you information on the frame. And then finally, the meta. So any of these you can open up. If we open up Animate, for instance, we've got all the parameters there. There's a description. Every single one has examples or um, there's parameters, uh, descriptions of the parameters, what they do and so forth. You can also view the code in Zim, the, the Zim code itself, see what that's doing. And there's a link to bits. So if we press the link to bits, it opens up the Zim bits and shows us that we've got one of 25 results for the for animate and if we want we can then go and view that zim bit and here it comes up <clears throat> and we can view the code of that Here's the code and if you turn this little square on you you see pictures of this so we can you know pop on through and take a look at the pictures of things and if you click off you get back to the description at any time you're you're on here you can click back to the docs like so and we're back in into animate all right so that's the connection there oh you can do searches as well so if we wanted to see a circle I just type C I R C and it pops on over to circle if I want to see what a window looks like, win. And here it opens up the window, closes the circle, open up the window, and we can read about the window, for instance, and see all of its properties and methods and the events. We can go to the bits to see examples of that, etc. So that's the docs. <clears throat> now Let's see, just to connect up the bits, the bits and the docs we were talking about together, let's finalize the bits here. If we were to click on the bits this way, we arrive at the bits. There they all are. And you can open up the little square there to see all of the pictures of the bits. And click off to see the description again. There's a bits filter, so if we open that up, clicking on the bar, you can see all of the commands. If we, oh, there's the ones in the create module. Here's the one in the build module. There's all of them. Clicking on any one, say we click um, the move, will show us one of 13 results, and we're back into here. And once again, if we hit the docs now, it opens up move. So that's the connection between the docs and the bits. In other words, uh, giving you a, a wealth of examples and description. Okay, back to the Zim site. We skipped over to learn section. You may 
have come from the Learn section. We click here, Zim Learn, make games, puzzles, apps, art, and more with code. So this is a general site to help people learn code. So if you know anybody who's interested in learning code, please let them know about Zim. It's a modern way, it's simple, it's, it's a colorful, stylish, friendly place to learn. The requirements have never been better. We just uh, just need an editor and a browser. All this stuff is free. Uh, here's how to set up and once again into the Zim Zip and have the look at the README there. And then finally, the learn section, we've got links to tutorials, workshops, lessons, and beyond things like creativity, etc. We open up tutorials here, the basic level tutorials on code. So these are videos about aspects of code, basic aspects. Here we have all of the basic Zim bits followed by a captures and we're building the captures now. We'll probably put the captures up top. Okay, those are basic, mid-level, same kind of deal. So here are the Zim bits on mid-level that, that gets a bit more advanced. There are different types of things, tickers and hotspots, and scrollers kind of stuff. And then in the final advanced one, it's uh, things like parallax, 3D physics, pathfinding, working through mazes, swiping between pages, etc. And the workshops and the lessons beyond are still to come. So we'll be building out this section of ZimLearn. Great. Scrolling down now, whoop, there was that intro Zim capture. Uh, you can take a look at that if you want. Let's go into the news. That's the, the, the uh, blog. And there's dozens and dozens older posts as well, dozens and dozens of posts as we've been building Zim along the way. Here's one on pizzazz with a bunch of backing shapes that you can implement. This is a good article to read, the easy way to build in JavaScript. So if you want, this, this gives a good text overview of how to use Zim and what the template is and patterns and object-oriented code and that kind of stuff. Here was the launch of Zim 4, for instance. There's the completion of Zim Bits. Here's the launch of Zim Capture, so uh, etc. If you're interested in, in why to use Zim, this is the context of uh, why we use Zim. Okay, going back to the Zim site now, scrolling down. Support is a link off to the Facebook group. Yeah, please join. And wonder uh, is a way to get stats. So I think that is the resources of Zim. Uh, take a look at the current resources of Zim and Zim 4th. Have a great day. Uh, look forward to more Zim captures. Ciao.